Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Tales of the Neon Sea With me, Demonox. When we last left off, my dumbness prevailed eventually. And we got the decoder. And we got the uh poster. Oh, saving. Hey. I think we need to kill. It is working. Wash machine. Mm, this wash machine seems like a seat is even older than that antique robot. Coffee machine? No, no coffee machine. Okay, coffee machine is not on the, on the list. Mm, if this is dismantled, I'll need to go to the kitchen to get booze in the future. Not gonna happen. Wow. Not the game, boy! I still play with it, so I'm not about to get apart. Alright, so so far we're free for free in here. What household appliance could you possibly find in a bathroom? Of the screens before you go in a room. You never know what you're gonna miss. I have a feeling the fridge freeze is about to bite it. This machine is too old to have that chip. Okay, this is going. Got it. A Dakota 74155N. A universal digital decoder, smart devices, capable, compatible with a wide range of electronic equipment. I collected all the parts I need. Now let's go back to that to the workshop. Doop -ba -doop -ba -doop -ba -doop -ba -doop. I took out the washing machine. Something had to go. I just deactivated my sense of smell system, and I'm all fine. Hand wash. Handle the washing machine to get the parts we need. So yeah, BBX, if you start doing a spin cycle, it's not my fault. And check. Nice, the chips are fixed. Let's test this electrical system signals. Mash frequency to preset shape by turning the button. That's the right 
with the wrong speed. There we go. Okay. That's roughly the right width, that's the right height. I'm good. That should do it. Well, let's try restart BBX. See, those sort of puzzles I can do all day long. How do you feel now? Beep. Hey, what's going on? BBX. Beep, beep. Can you still talk? Bzzzt, bzzzt, bzzzt. Oh, lovely, his voice box gone. Darn it, it exploded. BBX, are you still with me, buddy? Looks like BBX has activated its emergency hibernation mode. It's gonna cost me an arm and a leg to fit, find a mecha. I'll have to buy the parts and fix it myself. Ah, oh, BBX. Don't worry, BBX. I'll fix you. Probably. Oh, BBX. He went boom. We blew up our body. Our body been blown up. Now we have no body. Okay, time to go buy some shopping. Meow. Can I get a moment of peace around here? Okay, William. Time for that walk, I promise you. Let's go, William. I need to go buy some parts for BBX. Poor baby X. Red thing. Did he just ditch me for a female cat? He was begging me to play with him a minute ago. I guess gals before pals stand true. Even for cats. Oh well, I need to visit the repair shop anyway. Good for me, good for me, good for me. Arnold is my best friend and I made him with a kite, but Arnold's grandmother doesn't like me, so I am not sure whether I'll be able to give him the kite. That's enough wandering, I better go to that repair shop. Okay, so go with your way. I like this Felix's place. Ew. What do you want to chat about? Um, you have any gossip? There's one thing, actually. Maybe you've already heard about it. Some people are terrified because they are saw some strange shadows moving near the entrance of the sewers. But I didn't see anything when I went there. They say that the paranormal beings there. What do you want to chat about? Election and vote. Have you decided who you're going to vote for yet? The election? <laughs> Since when are you interested in that? <laughs> because one of the candidates is a robot this time. I'll be voting for a human either way. I don't think robots stand a chance this time, because you know who is also running for the election. Nope, that's it. Not much. Not much. I'll just take take a look. Hello. Would you like a lollipop? Lollipops are my favorite. No. I need a repair shop. Hey, cool dude. Why is it taking so long? Man, ah, woof woof. Are you hurting him, cheese? Take this painkiller. I promise that you'll be released from this body very soon. That's not a good thing. You're not a good person. You can fish for all sorts of things in this river. Well, which is to be sold a good price after they're clean. You'll probably scalp me if I go too far. I don't like that dude, Philip. He's giving painkillers to a dog. The repair shop. The lock. Um. Dread? That's strange. Oh, 
with here. Oh, she is. I wonder what the customer. I'm not a customer. Old man, do you have any cheap decoders or processors? I'm busy in the back. Um, second hand stuff is all over there. Go check it out for yourself. Morax. He's unfortunate to have to buy cheap stuff because he's got some absolute arm and a leg to get to buy the full gear stuff. And he doesn't have that much money unless he gets a really big gig. Morax runs a repair shop on the street, originally named Repay Shop. But if you ask him about the, that name, he might set the violence trooper, trumper robot on you. Eventually, the name was changed to Repair Shop, but some people immediately began to miss the to typo. Morax buys and sells all kinds of second-hand machines and electrical joint parts, and of course he sets the price himself. He seems to have a special channel to acquire repurposed military parts. Morax is undoubtedly a very good mechanic, and he's also interested in all sorts of eccentric questions about new technology and machines. Starlight City. Before the city was built, Starlight City was one of the top ten most popular ci popular cities in the world. Sky City was built, sorry. The Bell Tower Avenue was one of the best spots with the most famous tourist attraction, Donna River. However, as people and business moved to the Sky City, this prosperity became a thing of the past. Became, technically, a thing of the past. Not become, it's became. Whoa, hold on. These prices are insane. Have you lost your mind? Calm down. Ugh, calm down. I always sell the good stuff, and the good stuff got the price. Even so, everything you need is here at least 30% cheaper than the market value. The bargain, really. And anyway, you should know that it isn't easy to find parts for that antique robot of yours. I don't suppose you can sell them for cheaper. If money is a problem, my offer is for you is to become my test subject still stands. I can compensate you with some parts. I can't believe you're still thinking about that. As I said before, there's no way that's happening. Alright then, come back when you've got the money, the cash. And in the meantime, leave me alone. Whatever. I think I'm thinking he's got some. Leave me alone unless it's urgent. I break this. This robot. This thing used to serve in the army, and I heard this is quite not the reputation back then. Is it a rat trooper? No wonder it's so, so familiar. It has many problems that will be take a long time to fix this thing. <laughs> My accent keeps changing, I don't know why. I have not a bad accent for him. Oh, this is time a bit of like old thing and old good thing in one way. The Riot Trooper was a mass produced robot from ten years ago. To fight back against the robots, a great number of Riot Troopers were created and put into service for a short period of time. Most of these army bots were destroyed on the battlefield, and those lucky enough to survive served in the army until maintenance costs increased above the allowable threshold. Again, money, money, money. Nope, what's I got to leave right now because I can't afford to fight parts. Most of the items on the sh racks are marked as second hand but look quite new. Obviously, they have been well maintained. I can't afford the price right now. But BBX needs his parts. Ah, William. Meow. William, you're back so soon. What do you got there? William brought you a piece of ripped cloth with blood on it. Whose blood is that? Are you hurt? I don't see any wounds, though. Meow, 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 meow. The little guy is so anxious. Something must have happened. 
Since I can't do anything else for BBX right now, I should probably follow William and take a look. I can run. I can't believe people are still putting the opposite like this. When will humans and robots be able to put aside their differences? Never! We don't do that. We hold on to those grudges for life and death. Never shall we release them. You only go down a creepy dark alley. No need to go down this street. Yeah, it's better than that street. Ah, for sure, meat. Ugh, vegans. <laughs> Average with meat, vegan, obviously. Looks like William wants me to go into the alley with him. Well, I got nothing else to do. Ugh. Flower alley. Mm. Oh look, you have to advocate. William, is that your girlfriend? Judging from her fur, she seems to be a rare breed. Good choice, William. Meow, meow. Do you understand what I just said? Wait, is that blood on you? Let me see where you're hurt. Weird, I don't see any wounds. And with his eyeball and his um off market, shall we say, eyeballs, eyes. That's actually making that would make him a fantastic detective if you put him modern day now. If you take this out that sort of thing, gear, yeah, because they would literally be a mobile processing lab on their own. You know, make them so that's not connect to any circuits or Wi Fi. This is your internal recording units, so they have no um, external communication of device on them, and you could essentially have them scan things and determine things. You're like, oh, I see this, do -do 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 -do. and log this thing. So don't forget about how many cats in here. Oh, there. Beep. A dead body. It's been dead a while now. Wait, I know this woman. It's Miss Perry. She's the landlord at Sophia Sephora Apartments. Well, my, my landlord. I need to call the police immediately. Hello, I'm calling from the Sephora Apartments. There's a body in the line among the trash. In the alley, please send someone quickly. Okay, yes, thank you. There must still be some evidence on here, since not many people come this way. I'd better look around before the police arrive. Ooh, clues and deduction. You have entered a crime scene. Carefully investigate with every detail as it could be a key clue to solving the case. Switch to investigation view to find more traces at the scene. When you find all the traces, they will combine into important clues to help you build a final conclusion. So Ah right, clue. Oh wow. Look at ultraviolets. Post mortem abrasion on the heels, formed that a rigorous mortis in. Uh Leo mortis on the leg disappears when pressure is applied. Well, let's do a full scan of this mode first before we get the um, other mode. Start the externals. Uh, dislocation. Dislocation of the wrist with signs of fracture, probably caused by falling down or a strong collision after death. Okay, so they've. Now, uh, both motivation on elbows, fall on the front of the mortars, combine them together, please. That's. Uh, there are scratches on the elbows and heel, and they seem to have deformed after death. The corpse was moved at the time of theft. I'm going to assume it was robbery, so I'll now on to it. Gash possibly formed. Oh, I like this. They've, they put the thing formed when hit by something blunt. So if we find the second half of this one, then we'll, um, we'll combine together to form the important clues. Hmm, 
No sign of any more blips. Can I cast though? Switching eyeball mode. Search everything very wait. Oh investigation mode. Oh when you finish it up. Skin marks skin on the neck exhibits nickel allergy. Left hand middle finger displays a ring mark. Trace of jewelry worn on the neck and left finger. Signs of rigor mortis are different from the other areas, so the theft probably happened four to five hours after death. Okay, so after she died, someone took the someone robbed her. Strange shaped wound. There's a strange wound caused by impact with something blunt, most likely the cause of death, so something blunt smacked her in the head at high, uh, at, with Walt and Wallop. That might be the last clue on this thing, but... I don't like this mode. Again, if you had coppers with this sort of skill, this sort of um, ability to use stuff... Remote on arms, fair push applied, remote on the face, disappears by push applied. Combine those. Uh, Little Mortis indicates the time of death is probably more than 24 hours ago. So she'd been dead for 24 hours, but after four hours after death, someone came and robbed her. Combine. First stage autopsy analysis. It is estimated that the time of death occurred more than 20 hours ago. The corpse has suffered a fierce collision four hours after death and was dragged here. The theft of jewelry also happened at this time. So. She was killed. Four hours later, someone came in, stole the go goods, wrapped her up, and chucked her out. Good. And when we come back, folks, we will continue this inve Continue. We have hit the investigation part. I actually know, quite frankly, if the entire game was just that, I would be happy. Some puzzles here, and you know, doing that sort of investigation thing with the eyeballs was cool because we have like various tools in our heads more games to be made like that I got CSI game actually does that but anyway that's all for like next time so until then folks until then I'll catch you all later see ya